The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose on Friday, as the major averages notched a four-week winning streak. The 30-stock Dow rose 117.12 points, or 0.33%, to 35,390.15. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 ticked higher by 0.06% to end at 4,559.34. The Nasdaq Composite fell 0.11%, closing at 14,250.85. Major retail shares rose slightly as Black Friday kicked off the holiday shopping season. Walmart and Target rose 0.9% and 0.74%, respectively, while Amazon ticked higher by 0.02%. Based on our checks, we forecast flat traffic trends this Black Friday as a budget-conscious consumer pulls back and prioritizes gifts for others versus self, wrote TD Cowan retail analyst Oliver Chen in a note. For the week, the Dow gained 1.27%, while the S&P 500 advanced 1%. The Nasdaq Composite added 0.89% in that time. It's the fourth consecutive positive week for the major averages, the longest for the S&P 500 and NASDAQ since June. The Dow, meanwhile, hasn't posted a weekly run this long since April. The moves come as Treasury yields this week hit multi-month lows on hope inflation is cooling and the Federal Reserve may be done raising rates. The benchmark rate was up 6 basis points at around 4.476% on Friday. The market's expectation for the volatility of interest rates is continuing to collapse, said Scott Ladner, chief investment officer at Horizon Investments. That's telling us that the market is coming on board finally with this idea that 4% to 5% rates is the right level for 2024 across the curve that the equity market can handle. The U.S. stock market closed at 1 p.m. on Wednesday. The major averages closed higher after the 10-year Treasury yield fell to levels not seen since September. U.S. stocks closed in the green on Friday, marking four straight weeks of gains. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 117.12 points, or 0.33%. The S&P 500 added 0.06%, while the Nasdaq Composite inched down 0.11%. Check out the companies making headlines in midday trading. NVIDIA, NVIDIA shares fell 1.7%. Reuters, citing sources, reported that NVIDIA notified its China clients that it will delay until next year a new artificial intelligence chip designed to comply with U.S. export restrictions. Fisker. Shares of the electric vehicle startup jumped 5%. On Wednesday, the company announced that it filed a delayed quarterly report. The original report was pushed back earlier this month due to accounting personnel changes. Fisker also announced changes to its finance leadership team. First Solar, Solar Edge, the solar panel manufacturer declined 3% on Friday, while Solar Edge fell about 1%. The Invesco Solar ETF, TAN, dropped more than 1%, as the 10-year Treasury yield ticked higher. Renewable energy stocks have slumped this quarter as higher interest rates have increased project financing costs. Wall Street is set to wrap up a strong month in the week ahead. Crucially, the S&P 500 is near key resistance levels at 4,600.